back to um, the recent announcement, you just said now that you want to open door for more immigrants yes. to come in. Yes. Such is the reason why you announced this uh, advisory council to see better way. But coming in is not a problem alone. What about settling in? And are there any efforts in place that your office and the uh, Antibah government are doing to help facilitate integration of especially those immigrants, new immigrants that are professionals, that are you know well taught to you know get into their respective line of uh, job? You know how this starts, Ayo? I'll tell you one thing. Um, this Immigration Advisory Council, and I'm going to tell you, I, I haven't told you that, I'm going to tell you now, and during the summertime, I, I plan to do community consultations across the province, including the city of Winnipeg, obviously, to get info and feedback on how we can improve and enhance our Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program. Uh, you said that how can we facilitate or make life easier for Manitobans, newcomers when they come here? Exactly. Well, we have we have invested uh, in, uh, in in funding to those uh, organization groups, but we also have to uh, sit down at the table with these individuals when we do these com community consultations. Our premier has told us, right, and I totally agree with her. If we're going to know the issues, mm -hmm. if we are going to improve and enhance government services and programs, we need to sit down at the table when with, with key stakeholders. True. Uh, the African community being one of them. Why it was very important for me to have an African who has used the provincial number program on the Immigration Advisory Council. Those members are your bridge, your gateway to information uh, going to the, to the group and uh, me ultimately as the minister. Because uh, at the end of the year, uh, maybe even before, we have we want to have a, a, a report complete, a plan of action True. to improve uh, immigration in Manitoba. Uh, there are immigration streams with the federal government. There's our immigration stream with Manitoba, and that's something also that we have to educate people on as well. Mm. We know there's a backlog when it comes to permanent residency. True, but that's under the uh, federal, federal government, government. Uh, sure. they have invested, I believe, $80 million towards their immigration department so that they can process those applications faster. We will do everything that we can to collaborate and help with the federal government as we are with the Ukraine crisis. Uh, but from a Manitoba perspective, uh, we have to ensure that we focus on the Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program, which is an economic driver for our province, as I've said before. Uh, immigration is going to be a crucial enabler for the economy. Immigration is definitely a crucial, important part of our economy. And uh, new immigrants have a way of uh, swelling and advancing what they could bring on the table.